investigation into a baby mystery at Homer G. Phillips Hospital continues. Tonight, we go inside an adoption file that could answer many questions concerning allegations that babies were stolen and then sold at the old facility. Fox News' Rocky Madden is live at the hospital. And Rocky, what did you find out? Well, one lawyer, Sandy, tells me that what's inside this file, he calls it evidence of a cover-up what happened at this uh, former hospital here in North City. He and his client agree, saying there are, it's full of lies and forgeries. This is robbing me of my joy. It's robbing me of my joy. <laughs> Zella Jackson Price was filled with joy last month after being reunited with her daughter, Diane. Zella had been told some 50 years ago Diane died hours after birth at the old Homer G. Phillips Hospital. She's upset now about details found in daughter Diane's adoption file. Now you have robbed me. You're trying to kill my character. You're trying to uh, lie and say I was at one hospital. Diane's alleged birth certificate says Zella delivered her at St. Louis City Hospital 1, the traditionally white hospital, not Homer G. I've never been to City Hospital in my life. I can't even tell you right now where it was. There's some things that scream out at you. Her attorney, Al Watkins, says there are discrepancies in the 103 pages. Watkins says they have living proof Zella delivered Diane at Homer G. Phillips Hospital. We have a witness who was an employee of Homer G. Phillips Hospital at the time that baby Diane was delivered, who visited Mrs. Jackson Price at the time she delivered Diane at Homer G. Phillips. He says people's names on documents appear to be forged. That signature is wholly different than the signature that appears in, on the consent to adoption form. That's not my signature. That's not my signature at all. A known signature of Diane and one in the file looks very different. Documents also say court officials were unable to locate Zella, which Zella questions. She was well known in the community. She performed gospel music at many churches. She had a record album. Her actual address was on the so-called birth certificate, and she was even in a movie. You know, when you tie well, tell one lie, you have to tell another one to cover that lie. So I think it's lies on top of lies. Lots of new information, but Al Watkins says we are a long way from knowing what may have happened at the hospital. We're at the 50-yard line at best. Now, probably the hardest thing for Zella to read in the file was that it said she abandoned her baby Diane at the mostly white hospital. She says that is not true, but the lie, the questioning of her honesty, it hurts. Reporting live here in North City, Rocky Madden, Fox 2 News.